it's Pastor Jason here with our daily devotional. Um, and today we're going to be in the book of Proverbs once again, in Proverbs chapter 4. And we're going to be looking at verses 20 through 23. And so just a reminder, Proverbs is written by Solomon, who is called the wisest man to ever, li ever live. And not only that, he was also the wealthiest man. Um, God came to Solomon and said, ask me for anything that you want. And, and he asked for wisdom. He said, give me wisdom, and God honored that. He said, because you've asked for wisdom and not just for selfish desires, uh, like money, he says, I'm going to bless you with money too. And so Solomon's writing the book of Proverbs, and this is what he tells us as we read this. He says, my son, pay attention to my words. First thing, pay attention, or take heed to what I'm about to say, because it's important. It's of uttermost importance. He says, pay attention to my words, listen closely to my sayings, and don't lose sight of them. He's saying, hold on to these things, no matter what you go through, no matter what life brings, heed these words and don't lose sight of them. Always keep them there. Always keep them close. He says this, keep them within your heart, within your innermost being. Let these be the words that are there. For they are life to those who find them and health to one's whole body. He tells us to pay attention to these words, don't lose sight of them, and actually guard them in our heart because these words, these words of God, these the wisdom that God has in this word, when it's applied to our life, they are actually life for us and they bring health to our whole body. There's goodness that comes from the word of God and it's practical goodness. It's not just something that, that we just experience on Sundays or when we come on a Wednesday night to refuge. It, it's something that's applied to our life. In every area of our life, we can experience the health and the wholeness that God has for us. The prosperity, as, as, as we find out in Joshua chapter 1, right? When God's talking to Joshua, he tells him this. Let me get there real fast. And you can turn there to Joshua 1.8. Now Moses has brought the people all the way to the promised land. And then now Joshua is taking over lead. He's the leader of them. And he's going to take them into God's promise. And this is what God says to Joshua in Joshua chapter 1. He says this, this book of instruction must not depart from your mouth. Right? It's very similar to Solomon. Take heed of it. Don't let it go. You are to meditate on it day and night. Think about these words. Think about what God says. Meditate on them. Don't just treat it like a fairy tale book that you read and then you put down on the shelf. But meditate on what God is saying. Let it sink in. Let it saturate into your soul and into your spirit. It can change the way you think and it can change the way you feel. And it can cause you to walk differently. He says meditate on these day and night so that you may carefully observe everything that is written in them. Now God isn't just demanding obedience from Joshua. He could have ended the, 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 the verse with just that because he's God. He could say, just obey me because I'm God and I'm bigger than you and I created you and I'm in the heavens and you're not. But he did it. He actually makes a, 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 a statement that, that is for our benefit when we follow the words of God. He tells Joshua, he says, for then you will prosper and succeed. And this is really cool. In whatever you do, Right? The words of God, the promises of God are not just subject to our to certain areas of our life, but it's in everything. When we walk this, when we experience this, we succeed in school, we succeed in, in, in as a parent like I am, we succeed in business, we succeed in everything we do as long as we take heed of what God says in his word and we apply it and we don't lose sight of it and we guard it in our hearts, then we find that we prosper because that's what God does. As we walk in obedience to God's word, and allow it to be supreme in our life. The, the word of God needs to be the uttermost importance in our life. Then we experience what God says here. You will prosper and succeed in everything that you do. Everything that you do, God can bless you. You wonder why? And then I didn't finish the proverb, but um, Solomon ends with this. He says, guard your heart above all else. For it is the source of life. And Jesus would say this to his disciples. He says, out of the abundance of the heart, out of the overflow of the heart, is what comes out of your mouth, what you proclaim. In here is where your faith is. And we proclaim what's in here. Guard your heart of all else. Because your, your heart is the, is the source of life. Out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. What overflows in our heart. Allow the word of God to saturate in your heart. Allow the promises of God to be on your heart. Meditate on them day and night and see that God will 
will help you prosper. God will cause you to prosper in whatever you do. Put God first, put his word first above everything else. If it doesn't matter what it is in life that you're pursuing, as long as you keep God first and you trust his word and you walk in obedience, he will get you there and he will cause you to prosper. God loves you and God has a wonderful plan for your life. Be blessed.